Uh, what's up? This is Joe from the SML Podcast and SafeContinue.com. And uh, the Saints Row 4 unboxing I did months ago was apparently popular enough that they want me, want me to do more of these things. So today's unboxing, bah! South Park, Stick of Truth, Grand Wizard Edition, because why the hell not, right? Uh, let's open this fucker up. Let's see, we have here, copy of the game. Shiny, pretty, still perfectly sealed. This is a professional unboxing. I won't need batteries this time, thankfully. Open, you son of a bitch. Let's see. Oh, gotta, gotta hide this thing. We have DLC card, which is right there. Manual, disc. <laughs> Manual? No, it's just copyright bullshit. Let's see, also in here comes with a map. Thick, sturdy paper. Here, feel this shit. Ooh, that's nice, actually. Open it up. Look at that. Isn't Town of South Park? What all is on here? Let's see. A UFO, rich people, the fields, kingdom of Koopa Keep. K, K, K. Where the Grand Wizard lives. Uh, torture and Death, which I believe is the school with ginger ogres. <laughs> Clyde's Fortress. So yeah, nice sturdy map there. That might be fun to hang up. And then what everybody wanted out of this a motherfucking Cartman figure from Kid Robot. Six inch figurine. Hey, tape. What's up, tape? How you doing? There we go. We've got Cartman there. Star on his head. His arms almost move a bit. Then his staff. Better? <laughs> Little bit, yeah. Now I just gotta find somewhere to actually fit the thing. So, there you have it. Not the biggest collector edition that I've gotten. That'll be next week, obviously, with Titanfall. But for only 20 bucks extra compared to other collector's editions, I think it's pretty good. It's an awesome looking figure. Kid Robot figures aren't the cheapest figures out there either. Uh, I think they have like three inch figures for 20, 25 bucks on their website. Plus a cool little map that you could hang up as a poster. I think that is 80 bucks well spent, and I was lucky enough to get it for 60 on Amazon. So, give it a thumbs up.